sexto episodio de Mirá a quién encontré Nos vamos a meter con uno de mis realizadores favoritos Hablo de Wes Anderson, por supuesto eh, no pude hablar con él Sino que hablé con gente que estuvo vinculada Con gente que trabajó en sus dos películas animadas Hablamos de Fantastic Mr. Fox y de eh, La Isla de Perros Esta es la última película, la que se estrenó en el 2018 Así que sin mucha más introducción que esta, fíjate Mirá a quién encontré takes me about six weeks to begin to have be able to fire my brain in the right yeah. way <laughs> which is really strange it's, it's true though because it's it's it, it goes in because animation is such a slow process as you know it you go into a weird dimension like a weird time dimension yeah when you when you're doing it and and you're so focused on the tiny details for, for, for so many hours every day that it's almost like in a meditation mode and then when you come out of it you're 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 not able to communicate normally and hold it <laughs> it's really hard to put like words together and form a sentence your brain just doesn't help you your brain is just not available at all to help you in any capacity other than just the animation you know for me doing the corpse bride was the first time i found my own way to help myself which was to use live action video as a reference yeah and that's become completely my whole world for me now i actually i perform that all the acting myself to camera and then i use it as a sketch as a reference for the animation that i'm going to do and it just saved my life but it happened just out of pure panic of like i don't know what i'm doing seriously just yeah and so it begins Welcome to the fantastic world of Mr. Fox. Woo! So that when we started filming Fantastic Mr. Fox, um, I had a, I met with Wes, with Wes Anderson, and I, um, I told him that I did that, and it really helped. I said it really helped me express things, and if so if you have something that you want to direct and show, you we could film it ourselves, and you could help us with that. And then he, we did a lot of filming of ourselves, but he also started doing it and then in the end he was just sending people these live action videos of himself all the time <laughs> but it changed everything the film was really good for it because he was also he didn't have to try to put into words what he wanted he could just show you and the performance was there it was really simple it was really beautiful and he would do these crazy things and you'd go that's weird okay well i need to get this into the puppet how am i going to express that so then it came became your job to push the puppet and make sure that the puppet had the same feeling as, as what he was performing and it, it can be just in the eyes you know it just it's not always in the body it's sometimes it's just the face and just the eyes how do you get that with a tiny puppet with a tiny head and tiny eyes so this became like the challenge but on isle of dogs wes did all the labs i didn't do any he did he performed the whole thing which was really great he would just he would just go oh hi jason so in this shot chief is talking with nutmeg um and the dialogue goes something like this so just see what you think and see if you can he always sort of said just see what you think and if you feel like this is good you can you can work with this you know and it was, it was never like bam it has to be this and i promise you sometimes he would say okay the chief is talking to nutmeg and he goes So see what you think. If there's anything in there that you can use, I promise you, he would send me a level. He would not move. He would just do that. <laughs> and then, then you were like, well, there it is. Yeah. That's what I need the puppet to do. And, if, and it's great because in animation, you're always wanting to move the puppet. Yeah. But this was a challenge to not move the puppet, you know, to, to yeah. keep it still, but to make it feel like it's alive. Mayor Kobayashi issues emergency orders, calling for a hasty quarantine. Trash Island becomes an exiled colony. The Isle of Dogs. He, he always referenced uh, Miyazaki as, as an influence for this film and the stillness and the moments of peace that you find in films like Spirited Away or House Moving Castle. Those moments where it breathes, the audience can almost like project a little bit of the thought process of the character. You have that moment and And he, that was definitely there in the minimalism of oh, the dogs. And it's just beautiful to work in stop motion and get that. That was really cool to not move the puppet, yeah. but make it feel like it's alive and that it's thinking. 
We get the idea. You're looking for your lost dog spots. Does anybody know him? No. no. Uh -uh. He, he's notoriously obsessive. Um, but, you know, he's an artist and he's he has a vision and he, 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 it always makes sense in the end. It drives people crazy. But in the end, everybody always says, oh, yeah. I get it now, he was right, it makes sense. Like he wants the character, like you send him, he's like, the character throws a stick, so you, you, and he's like, no, 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 he has to face the camera, and he throws the stick, and you're like, well, that's not what you do, you, you. And he's like, no, 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 it has to be this way, and you're like, that's so weird, okay? <laughs> and then you do it, and you look at it, and you watch it, and it just adds that kind of unique vision. Yeah. To, to what he's doing yeah so it's a, even just like it would be bizarre what he would focus on that was the thing that kept confusing everybody like he, it would just be bizarre what, what it was that he'd become obsessed about like sometimes it would be like that's fine that's fine that's fine that's fine that's fine but the dog looks great but the tree in the background is too round it needs to be more square and no the bit off the top no 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 the other side and it would be like one branch and, and just that detail and you'd be like, yeah, but what about the, the dog? <laughs> the tree, yeah, but the dog, please. And that was weird. But it, it, made, it always made sense, you know, and you look at that film now, and it's so beautiful. Yeah, it, yeah, it is. And every scene is, is, is composition and is a work of art. It's just stunning and, 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 and unique looking. Not only did he write the film, you know, he, he's directing it, but he's choosing, like, the color of, the flower on the curtain in the background of the room with the carpet that he's chosen and the chair that has to be a specific chair angled in a particular way. And yeah, he's composing paintings. Every single shot is this beautiful composition. It was really interesting because all that mattered was what the, what worked well for the film uh, compositionally. It didn't matter about necessary. Uh, uh, for continuity or, or geographical layout, if you had like if you had like four dogs all talking in a row, blah 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 blah, and then the camera changed the angle to the side, he would change the dogs around whichever looked best. It didn't matter, and you were like, yeah, but this dog was here, and he'd be like, it doesn't matter, and you put it there, and you're like, yeah, you know, it doesn't matter. It works. It's just what looks nice, and that was really interesting. And um, what about working with the deadline? Because yeah, you can always make things perfect, <laughs> but you have to. You have a deadline that you have to fulfill. So I never worry about it. It's someone <laughs> else's problem. It's not the director's job to stay on the track. It's the director's job to get what he wants the best he can. However, whatever it takes to push, and then it's the. It's I, it's, it's something that. Yeah. I, I, it's not that I'm unprofessional and I don't give a shit. No. It's just I can't give a shit because I need to just focus on what's important to me. I can't do that job. That's someone else's job. Yeah. And if they come and say, okay, you're done, that's it, you're over, and I'm like, okay, good. Yeah. But you go till the end. <laughs> Where somebody spoke his language. Bien, hasta ahí la palabra de Jason Stallman, uno de los animadores principales, sobre todo si se tiene en cuenta el último proyecto, Isla de Perros, arrancó siendo uno de los animadores en Fantastic Mr. Fox y después fue creciendo, sobre todo por la experiencia que tiene. También trabajó en Cube la búsqueda de Samurai y en, en La novia cadáver, por mencionar algunos de los proyectos que forman parte de eh, su currículum. Y yo pienso que si en algún futuro hay alguna otra película de Wes Anderson dentro de este mundo animado, Jason va a volver a estar. Espero que les haya gustado. Es uno, como dije, uno de mis realizadores favoritos. Nosotros por lo pronto nos estamos viendo la semana que viene. This is one of the interesting things is that when you first start a new animation project with new puppets and new characters, it always is completely you have to learn again what you're doing. You have some skill that you bring, but you're having to learn the puppet. By the end of the film, you um, you know the puppet, you know the limitations, you understand it, you know how to do it. But yeah, you're starting from fresh. How how much to move the fur, even though it looks like there's lots of fur moving and it feels alive, and you feel that animation hands in there. But with the beginning, we just did tests where we didn't we didn't correct the fur. We just animated the dog, the character, and left the fur to see what it would do and it was too much so even though it looks like the fur is moving on the dogs 
it's deceptive. It's actually really controlled. It was like three frames up and then three frames down, two frames up, yeah. two down, three up, three down, and you had to control the fur. Otherwise, it just looked like too distracting. 